Hello and welcome to our Sausalito Getting Started Guide. In this screencast, we're giving you a brief introduction to Sausalito and show you how easy it is to create, test and deploy Sausalito applications using our powerful Eclipse-based development environment. So let's get started and create the first Sausalito project. Before we get started and create our first project, we assume that you've already installed the Sausalito Core SDK and our Eclipse plugin called XQDT. If not, you can find installation instructions in our Sausalito developer guide at sausalito.20admsec.com. In order to build your Sausalito application, you need to create a project. Essentially, a project is a set of directories that contain your code, static files, configuration information and test data. To create a project, select File New Project and choose Sausalito Project. In the upcoming dialog you need to give your project a name which is used within Eclipse. Before we can proceed we need to configure an interpreter and point Eclipse to our Core SDK installation. You can add a Core SDK installation and browse for it. Usually Sausalito is installed on your hard drive in OPT, Sausalito, bin and choose the Sausalito script. Other than the name of your project which is used by Eclipse, every Sausalito project is identified by a logical URI. This concept is similar to Java packages. So let's give our project a URI, let's say www28 msec.com slash my project and then click finish. Now that we have successfully created our first project, let's take a detailed look at the different components and test the project by launching it within Eclipse. As mentioned previously, a Sausalito project consists of a set of components organized in directories. For example, the simple project that we have just created consists of four directories. The handlers directory contains XQuery modules whose functions are automatically exported in the project's REST base interface. In this project, the directory contains a single module located in the file default XQ. As you can see in the function outline here and here, this module consists of two functions called index and post. Each of those functions is accessible using REST. For example, the function index can be executed by making an HTTP call to a URI with path slash default slash index, where default is the name of the file of the XQuery module and index is the name of the function. The next directory of our project that we are going to take a brief look at is the lib directory. This directory contains all XQuery modules whose functions will not be directly accessible using REST. In our simple project, the lib directory contains an error module whose show function is called if an error occurs during the execution of the project. The third directory is the public directory. It contains all kinds of static files whose content can be retrieved by making HTTP calls. This is similar to a web server's document root. For example, you can access the contents of the file index.html by making an HTTP call to a URI with path slash index.html. The last of the four directories in our example project is called test. In our simple example project, this directory is of no particular use but contains Sausalito internal information such as log files or user data that was created during the execution of the project in the core SDK. Now that we have gained a brief overview, we can finally test the project. Testing the project means to locally launch a web server and make HTTP calls to static files or XQuery functions. In this example, we use a regular web server to make these calls. However, because of the REST-based nature of a Sausalito application, it could be the backend for all kinds of web applications from tiny mobile applications to feature-rich, reflex-based frontends. In order to launch a project, you can either click here or right-click on your project or module and choose Run as Sausalito application. This will start the Sausalito server on your machine and open a browser. In the console window of Eclipse, you can see 
that the web server was started on port 8080 and that the default start page is slash default slash index. In the address bar of the browser, you can see that the browser automatically made a call to this start page. The function index in the default module was invoked and the result shows some information about the request that was made. For example, you can see that a HTTP GET request was made and a cookie with name MyCookie was set. You can now do live editing of your code and will see the changes immediately by reloading the page. For instance, in the default module we can change the background color of the page to white and reload the page by clicking here. When you are done testing your project, you can stop the Sausalito server in the console window by clicking the red stop icon. Once your project is created, debugged and tested locally on your machine, it can be deployed on 20MSEX scalable infrastructure. This way, your application becomes visible to everybody on the web. In the following, we will show you the required steps to get your project live. If you have not done so yet, you need to create an account for our portal to manage the deployment of applications. This can be done on our website at 20MSEC.com. Once this is done, you can sign in into the portal. The portal gives you an overview of the applications that you already have running. For instance, you can see here that we have already deployed four applications. To create a new application, click the Create New Application link and choose a name for the deployed project. If this is done, you can upload your existing code directly from Eclipse. To upload the code, right click on the project and choose Deploy Project. The upcoming dialog requires you to type in the name of the project that you have just chosen in the portal, as well as the username and password. Once this is done, just click the Finish button. Your code will now be packaged and uploaded to 20MSEC Scalable Infrastructure. You can now go back to the portal and check the status of your application by clicking the Apps Version Control link and expanding the According section. This shows that version 1.0 of your application is now live. Clicking the version link will take you to the deployed version of your project. This is all that you need to know to get started with Sausalito. You can find more information and some examples on our website at 20MSEC.com. If you have questions, you can also contact us at support at 20MSEC.com. Thanks for watching.